Hey everybody, Ed's back, and what we're gonna do is exactly what I said in the end of the last episode. We're gonna dig through this wall here, create a five by five room. So, one, two, three. Because as it would happen, turns out diamonds are quite low at the moment. One, two, three, four, five. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two. There you go. And now we have these. These and 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 these. Okay, so this room shall I didn't mean to throw my spade. Um What I'm probably going to do now is I'm going to go get some pine trees because I want this room to look a bit darker. A bit like, ooh, it's got a dark, scary room. So, even though I'm going to put some torches in, um, two, three, You may be like, but Ed, what about the other room? Ah, oh, well. Oops. Then there. Uh, what am I looking for? One. This is the middle block. So you have. Yes, yes, okay, so yeah, this is the middle block, the one I'm standing on. So that, yeah, that's, that's the middle of the room. There you go. Nice, nice. So, actually, firstly, what I'm going to do is I need to make more room. So I'm thinking dig out this way. Shouldn't be too hard considering. Ah, it's a headspace. So this is gonna be this is gonna turn into another room of these. And what else? What else? What else? Um First bookshelf. Yes, librarian. Ooh. Okay. First things first. What I'm going to do is pick up that. Um, for now, I guess. What I'll do with. Just here with all the food in. So I'll just put the soup away. Okay, 
I like having an organized infantry. Infantry. Yeah. You know what I mean. I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I don't need to say it right now. <laughs> well, I know what I'm meant to be saying. with the sheep. Oh well. I will get this sorted and then we will have a nice carpet for that room and I want to get the dark wood from the pine trees. So. I think it's about time. I think after this it's time for an adventure down to the pine area which I haven't been down to in a while. a bit more when I have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cows. So then um what would I do? Okay. So pickaxe. Red. Okay. And now that's sorted. I'm thinking about moving this this one, one back. So in fact, yeah, I will. Same size carpet. But it's all red. Floor in here will be Oh no, I got a better idea. So this is where our enchanting table is. I think this is the first time I've ever played Minecraft where I've managed to get an enchanting table. Just saying. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, put these two up again. Okay. Nice. We're now going on our advent. Our uh, our advent. Our adventure. And put the wool away. Wool away. And to speak head. I'm going to put that in there for now. I know it doesn't go in there, and I know, but it's coming out. It's coming out soon, so it should be fine. I'm quite interested actually in seeing my house in like the normal texture pack. So I might do the episode tomorrow in the normal texture pack. 
Because you saw Sfax, and Sfax was... I, I like Sfax. I... But I've decided that if I do do a, like a tech... Uh, do do. If I do do a tech it series, or a technic pack series, what I'll... What I'll uh, what I will do is... I'll do that with the Sfax texture pack, because that has everything. This one does too, but the Sfax one will be my tech it one. That way people could also say, oh, so he's playing he's playing the Technic pack because he's got this on or and like you'd be like, oh no, he's playing his normal Minecraft because he's got this on. That's of course implying that you talk about this. If you if this is just like si a silent thing, no one talks about this to one another. It's like, oh <laughs> I I watched this series but I'm gonna keep it hush hush. Um, lag. Um, I'm just the lag's making it impossible to line up with this tree. So, what I'm going to do is I bet it's going to be one. Nope. Another thing, there's something I love about the tech it, Technic Pack is the fact that it has the mod that lets you, like, cut down a tree and then the tree falls down. And it's not like, uh, it's, it's, not, it's not like, what? Well, you can punch it down or you can cut it down with an axe and if you cut it down with an axe any form of logs will automatically fall down so if you put your house out of logs and you hit like one corner with an axe the whole thing will just fall but at the sa in the same vein of everything um, there should be enough wood right a nice dark hearty wood um, but so like to cut down that tree rather than having to climb up into the tree and get all the pieces of wood you just hit the bottom and everything would fall down so it makes collecting wood so much faster and so much more efficient because if you think about it you're not having to worry about like running out of running out of uh, an axe very quickly because it's it's it it's one uh, one log per tree so it's not like uh, like that that would have been an entire tree and it was like uh, so it's less and it also means you can just collect a ton and then not have to worry about collecting any more for a while. I'm just trying to think, have I <coughs> have I cut down enough trees? Have I got enough wood? Because I think I'll make the roof out of this wood and then use normal wood for the walls. So if we just do these and these. And look at that. Oh wait, no. That, that that's wrong. Yeah, I didn't have enough wood for those two walls, let alone these two as well. So I'll just I'll just do the ceiling out of that type of wood.
You may be asking why am I doing this? Well, it's because the corners won't have direct contact with the bookcase. So... the only roof, just thinking about I need, it's the only ceiling I need, is nine spaces around this thing. Went a bit over the top there even fill in the gap that I needed to. Nice. Smooth head. I don't think I have enough uh, wood. But it's worth a try. So, uh, and I also have a sapling which I can then grow. Yeah, I have. Let's go with 12. If I have 12 more than what I need. So. I have over 12 more than what I need. I don't have enough wood. Let's see how much I can get, get, get in. And, uh. It's quite a dark wood, isn't it? it? Really brings the uh, look and feel of the room to quite a darker, darker level. It's like a lair. Welcome to my lair. Uh, bone meal. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. Okay, I'll leave the saplings to drop from that. Back to bring you so we can get XP. You guys are basically the cow's gonna be the XP for you. That. Just need to finish the room next door. Wood, cobblestone, normal wood, um, bone meal and steak. I need to put the torches out around in there. Okay, 
this away in here and then I'm gonna go harvest all of those th those things uh, the, 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 I can't remember what they're called sugar cane that's it I'm gonna harvest all the sugar cane then I'm gonna go to bed and then because it's night time no, it's dangerous to be out here at night I haven't put any torches around here I need to get some of them I remember the first ever and I mean like first ever time I played Minecraft I had a ton of these and like an S formation going out from my house and it was terrible like my house I'd built under a mountain and it looked really cool in my opinion but it was like it was like an underground thing it, it was like there was I built an underground like garden and everything which I just thought was so like I looked bad it just looked badass and I was like yes Winner. So nine books and one spare piece. Let's put the spare piece in here. Take the books, take some wood, and uh, let's get this sorted. How many bookshelves can I make? Let's just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, four. So much wood goes into a bookshelf, and yet at the same time, you only get one block of wood size out just like where does all the wood go ta-da and in the books can then go in there and I'm going to make a, door, a wooden door for the uh, enchanting room. So I'll put this down here. Get the cauldron out. Go there. Put the water. Um, so yeah, bed, and then the end end of the episode. Yeah. So guys, it was a. Good episode, we got a lot done, we finished the downstairs, sort of, we're now just working on the books, which will be a slow process, but if we just leave these growing by themselves, they'll grow eventually into uh, what we need. My house is looking very viney, in fact, I think I'm up to the roof. Alright, so this is the roof of my house. I'm surprised I don't have a problem with spiders. Ow. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be the wrap up part of the episode. We did a lot. We um, we got a lot done. It was. 
Uh, it was very impressive, and we w we shall continue what we are doing now in the next episode. all the way up there, it's just awkward now. Yeah, that's, that's all light enough, so I think I should put it here. Oh, actually, fuck, no. I think what I need to do... Oh, no, no trees came. No saplings. What I need to do is I need to put a fence from, like, here. All the way around my farm. Like, along here, bring this all out one. Keep going along here and just go around to like here. <clears throat> I know it won't like stop people coming in everywhere, but it will help normally. Use sound lag. I need to finish this, don't I? And once that is finished, I'll have a nice, safe, warm environment in which to live. I already have a safe, warm environment in which I live. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I've just rambled on f and. Yeah, so remember, leave your comments telling me how, what you thought, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>